Good afternoon, grade 11s. Today we will be doing our gingerbread rolling out, kneading, rolling out, and cutting. And then we'll bake, and then we're going to stack them up and put them up here. This is the previous grade 11 class. So I've tied back my hair, put on my apron, and now I am going to wash my hands for 20 seconds. Because we want to be food safe, we don't want to get anyone else sick, we don't want to get sick. It is a terrible flu and, and cold season. <laughs> Sydney and Lauren, don't look impressed. Oh, Sean, how are you doing? Oh, wait, so remember, we need to wash our hands for 20 seconds. Shh. Just like this. Okay. Now we're going to rinse it off. And then we're going to go And then I'm going to dry. Are you guys excited for your um, field trip to Gingerbread Lane at the Hyatt? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I told you guys, December 12th, I've booked the school bus for you. Okay, here we go. So, here is Miss Theo's dough. Uh, remember how we put it in the refrigerator? Um, oh, dear. Oh, my lanta, this is very cold and, well, hard, but let's see. Um, the reason why we put it there, who's ever put cookie dough in the oven, before? Um, cookie dough in the refrigerator or freezer, and then taking it out to bake on another, like, later, do you know why you do that? Put up yeah. your hand. Why? Because it's better in rolling out because it's not so sticky. Yeah, so when you first make your dough and you just put it in the oven right away, it's not cold, so it's going to spread out fa faster. But if it's a little bit colder, it, it actually spreads out less while it's baking. Right? We don't want this to be thinned out because if our walls um, are too thin, it's going to topple over, right? Okay, so this makes for four people. I'm using a butter knife because I don't want to use a sharp knife on my counter. Because when you, when you cut into the counter, it makes little grooves for bacteria to grow in. And that is not food safe. Okay, Lauren and Sydney, please put away your phone or I will take it away from you. And put it in the office. Three, two, one. Stop texting your sister in class, dude. This isn't texting time. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm coming over. She's going to fall asleep. Get it, get it, get it. She's sick. Wait, go, go give it to the office. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.
Do you guys see this okay? And you want to make it about 55 cent 55 millimeters thick. So like half a centimeter thick. Whew. This is kind of a workout, man. Okay. So I want to make it into a nice rectangle. Okay. Oh, my lanta. Okay. So do you guys see how I kind of rolled this out? And you want it all to be the, the same level. And you want things to be very straight and perpendicular and symmetrical. So the edges end up lining up once you bake them. Okay, do I see that okay? Does this make sense? So you roll in and then out, middle, and then down. Okay, so like this, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this. Does that make sense? Okay, you need two roofs. So maybe we'll go like this, and then like this, two roofs, and then one front, one back, and one wall and extra. And yesterday, I went to the dollar store on Lonsdale. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I went to the dollar store on Lonsdale around 19th, and they're actually going out of sale, and they had a 30% um, discount, like sale on. So I bought these for you guys yesterday after school. So this is for your extras. So where did I put my, oh, here's my butter knife. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go like this. You wanna make it as straight as possible, like I said, because when you assemble it on Monday, when, no, well, we, no, we don't have time. Most of the kids got out late after just doing this. And then so next class, we'll be assembling it with our icing. And then on Wednesday, we'll be decorating. And I've talked to yearbook committee to come in and take photos of us as we make our gingerbread houses. And maybe we can be in the yearbook. And whoever has the nicest gingerbread house we will display it in the window cabinet, shh, window cabinet down in south. So I will be the judge, and whoever has the nicest, most beautiful house. Um, okay, yeah, hold on. Shh. And then we're going to go like this. Put the wall here. And, okay, there we go. Can you preheat the oven for me for 375? I forgot to do that. So the first thing you're going to do is probably preheat. Shh. And then we got to move quickly because um, the last class kind of got out late because it took them a while. Um, okay, there we go. And then now I'm going to use my flipper and transfer this onto an ungreased um, baking tray. And I can put two houses on here and then bake it for um, five to ten minutes. Okay? Do you guys understand? Do you have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, if you have team members who are not here, can you help and make um, uh, their houses too? And if you need help with your dough, just let me know. Okay, everyone tie back your hair, put on an apron, wash your hands for 20 seconds. Okay.